let's open you up to angelic frequency so that you can feel at peace, feel serenity as you go through your challenges and be able to see more of a flow in your life to allow solutions to come on in. If you don't know me, I am Michelle. This is Angel Souls. I do a mix of angel mediumship, you know, spiritual practitioner and card reading that is very, it's a very different frequency from psychic readings or tarot readings. Those are not bad. If you have a good practitioner, they're just a different frequency. So when we do angelic messaging, the best way to listen is to approach this from a quieted ego place, right? So taking a deep breath, making sure you're releasing the day. If you're watching this first thing in the morning, just make sure you're starting out in the heart center. Angels are in fifth dimensional energies and above. The fifth dimension is where your higher self resides. So a lot of times we can perceive angels in a lot of different ways, but they can come through our higher self if we're having a hard time understanding. Okay. So the way that you can access that is to raise your frequency and try to be in that higher self space to understand what you don't want to do is get the ego involved. I do, I go through this with my private clients. Like they're like, Oh, but that didn't make sense. You're not trying to listen to it from an ego standpoint. Take the message in. I tell my clients, write it down. If something doesn't make sense, let it go. See how it plays out. That's the best way to get this, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do a general message and then I will break it down into three groups so you can have an additional part of the message. The way to pick your group, again, heart space. Tune into where you're being drawn the most. Go to that group, you can listen to that. There might be a second group that's a little bit lighter in intensity, but maybe you wanna listen to that one as well, okay? I hope that makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't, <laughs> okay? And I do wanna say that I am doing personal readings, okay? They're my standard readings. It takes no time commitment on your part. Visit my website at angelsouls444.com. I can do a channeled message with cards if you want. You can do a 1010 reading. Please don't wait until October. I told everybody, I think last week, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing another move, at least the way it's scheduled now. I'm gonna be doing another move in mid-October so get him in now okay cool I think that's what we got we got Manny here he's napping right next to me Manny the cat all right night of earth I acted all like night of earth <laughs> I don't know where that came from night of, <laughs> night of earth loyal dedicated honorable kind time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments a guardian angel Listen, your angels are like, hey, 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 you know how things are like really going off right now? Yeah, we're supposed to be helping you with this. We're supposed to be, but we, we, you got to let us in. Okay, you got to let us in. And the ego is what is locking your angels out and that angelic frequency out. Okay. The other thing I want to mention too, if you try to work with angels or archangels from the space of, I just want to get something or fine, I'll open up to angels so that I can win the lottery or I'll open up. It's going to backfire on you. They don't mess with that. Okay. Now they don't punish you, but they also don't give you the gift of helping you with that. Right. If a practitioner tells you, yes, they do walk away from that practitioner. They're, they're not in true angelic energy. Okay. Just, just be aware. Page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. All right. So this person who comes in as like a guardian angel, this might come with a hard truth. Like what I just said, you know, if you try to just work with angels just to get something or you're working with angels, angels will love you no matter what angels and archangels, but they're here to help you stay on your path. So they're not going to just give you the answers to the test, but they will help you to have a deep understanding so that the test doesn't even feel like a test. So it's better than getting the answers, right? You're well equipped to handle whatever else comes up for you. So this might be a time, you know, again, that page of air is sort of like, oh gosh, where, where do I, you know, play victim? And then go, angels, help me find the love of my life. I'm so lonely. What they're gonna do is show you why you're desperate. People hate that. Oh, they hate that. They will come back and be like, <laughs> you know, all, all that happened was it got worse. They showed you 
a hard truth, you wouldn't accept it, and you double down and you start making things worse, worse for yourself. It's called accountability, okay? Two of air, I mean, I get it, but I don't get it, right? That's what this is feeling like. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. That's exactly going along with what I was just saying. Being in denial, uh, pretending like things are just not, I'm fine, I'm perfect, right? Four of water, <laughs> I, I do it too, that's why I'm laughing. Missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. Look at what's going on here. They're saying, hey, we're coming in here. We're showing up. We're knocking at the door. We're trying to get you to see a hard truth that you are not accepting. And as long as you don't accept that, as long as you're not taking accountability for your thoughts, feelings, and actions, well, you're going to be stuck. And it's not really just being stuck. It's kind of like a compounding energy. That's where we get on that slippery slope and it just keeps going and going and going. They're trying to yank you out of that. They are trying to help you. But if it's not in the way that you thought or expected, or if you've taken a very shallow approach to spirituality and spiritual practice, you know, the ones that are doing it, you know, just for the clock app or the Insta, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not authentic. <laughs> and a lot of times they think it is. I'm sorry, if you come off as perfect, it's not authentic. This is messy over here, okay? Lavender, connect to body, mind, and soul. The number's 44. <laughs> and again, I'm laughing because it's like the angels. 44 is uh, guardian angel energy. And we saw the word like guardian angel. They're saying, yes, yes, yes. Relax into it. Lavender's very relaxing, right? So relax into it. Listen to what they're saying. Don't. There's a difference when we tune in for angelic messaging and people who go around and maybe they do have certain disorders that and the ego so wants to have an incredible experience that they start making it up. If you're truly a medium, it's not going to come with the crazy. No offense to, sorry, I didn't mean that in the way it sounds, but it's, it's not going to come with a contrived messaging, right? It's not going to come with manipulation. The, as a matter of fact, I trust a medium who's going, I'm getting a feeling of this, this, and this, or I'm seeing this, this, and this. And they lay it down. They're not saying it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that, because they don't know that. It's part of the game. That's part of the game to claim they know the details. I get really upset when people are like, I don't want a vague reading. I want a detailed reading. you have free will. Gosh darn it. Okay. No one can possibly tell you what you're going to do. You need to agree to that with the universe. Now they can pick up on the energy of where you're headed, but an ethical reader should be giving you that heads up, right? You can do whatever you want with this information, but here's what I'm feeling or seeing or whatever. All right. So there's that part, I guess, but you know, as we go into the groups, again, breathe in, see which you know area you're drawn to. If it's more than one, that's great. If it's all three, that's great. If you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com.
Hi there, group one. Let's see what else angels want you to know right now. Now remember, these are still general. If you want to work with me and get your personalized angelic messages, you can go to angelsouls444.com. Okay, breathe in with me here. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. We have... <laughs> We have seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. This feels like you're kind of in between worlds. And this could even be with belief systems. That's coming up for a lot of you. Or um, just in general, I don't know who to believe. I don't know what to believe. Um, being afraid of going down the wrong path, being afraid of choosing the wrong thing. Okay, Queen of Earth. This is how you dispel all this you know confusion especially energetic interference if anybody is um trying to send bad energy your way or they're just you know being negative about you speaking ill of you this is how you're gonna break through the queen of earth groundedness getting restored allowing that to fall away so that you can remember yourself when that happens it's not an ego thing and we, we hear people <laughs> miss the mark all the time, especially in the spiritual community, where they're like, no, I got in touch with my authentic self. And now, uh, if it's true, you wouldn't talk about it. Unless you're a spiritual practitioner and you're having to, like, share your experiences or something. But otherwise, you don't, it just doesn't come up in conversation. Not usually, I don't think. Let me know. Anyway, <laughs> Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible, right? Getting back to you. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So not adding bad energy to an already bad situation, but rather sort of being the transmuter. Earth is very transmuting of negativity. That's why you hear a lot of people who are doing meditations that they want you to be connected to the earth. It's going to do some alchemical thing where it turns the negativity into a golden light, comes back through that's what you can do here all right that's i don't know i i why do i feel like that's gonna fall on deaf ears i hope not but again just write it down let it play out page of earth so you're wanting to get to the queen of earth but you got to get through the page of earth first so maybe that maybe you heard it but it you're not quite there yet but that's okay because there's a process here uh, scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. So you're like, yes, yeah, so I finally figure out what I want to do with my life. Fantastic. I know <laughs> how I want to support myself, how all that's going to go, but I got to go back to the beginning and start that process. So it's very that. The Empress. <laughs> go ahead, leave it in the comments. You need the Empress. I, I like it. Okay. So it's the number three. Again, there's this wisdom, this higher, um, like ascended master, if you want to say it that way. It doesn't matter. There's an attunement in all the layers of your body. An attunement. Yes. And everything kind of lights up. And when it lights up, it's receptive. It's the best way I could put it. When it's receptive, you know what you want to create. You know what direction you're going in. For some of you, yes, this could be having a child, I guess. This represents pregnancy. There's a baby here. Uh, Archangel Gabriel, who also oversees conception, whether it's an actual baby or a project, right? Um, the, if you want to see it as the pregnancy part of it, the labor protects the baby. When the baby grows into a child, so again, if you're seeing this from a project standpoint, your creative project is born out into the world, then it becomes sort of Metatron who comes in and watches over children or helps you with because usually a creative project, once it starts kind of getting into the for latter stages, needs more of an intellectual approach to it or some balancing around that. So Metatron helps not lose the creativity, but also helps you see all the details. Does that make sense? Okay. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. <laughs> all right. So there's something big coming up here. It's going to be worth your time. Definitely. Okay, so 
So we have plum, overcome your challenges. The number's 41, reduces to five. Five is the number of change. So you're coming out of the dark. You are coming through hard times. Yes, you are coming through hard times. You're coming through that, but realizing what needs to change. Now, if you, I said this before in another reading, and I just dropped the cards. Um, if you're not willing to take accountability, if you think that you're perfect and that's all there is to it, you have nothing to learn, or if you're purely learning so you look like a good person, you can't fool the universe and that is going to backfire on you. I don't know how else to put that. But anyway, let's leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Be careful out there. Take accountability, okay? <laughs> take care. Hi there, group two. Let's see what else is going on for you. If you would like to work with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Now, I do need to give a heads up. I think I gave this heads up before. 10 10, October 10th, around that time, the fall in general is a very, very, very busy time. Okay? For me. So, plus I'm trying to do a move around that time. At least that's how it's scheduled thus far. Please get your 10 10 readings in now. Please don't wait. <laughs> and then, you know, when it comes to the holidays, people start giving these as gifts. So the holidays and then people are coming into their year overviews. Fall is still the busiest, but that comes as a close second right behind it. So summers are slower. Do it now. And if later you're like, I'm getting a hand to eat so long from every... What did I say? Now, what did I say? I said, <laughs> get in now, Okay. If you're new here, I'm sorry. Welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, everyone breathe in with me here. Okay, there it is. We have six of fire. Okay, victory, good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. Now the thing about six of fire is yes, it's a victory, but he just came out of battle. He's all beat up. And was like, hey, welcome home. But you know, as soon as he gets to his place, he's going to be hopefully taking a, probably not a shower. Nice hot bath, <laughs> getting, getting the feet kicked up, you know, and just trying to recover from what they had just been through. So that's the kind of victory this is. Yes, you've come through, but there's going to be some lingering effects of the experience. Yeah, the moon, we have 18, reduces to 9. It's Archangel Haniel. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. This That goes perfectly with what I was just saying, like going on home after the battle and then remembering everything you've been through. You know, there might be, that might be part of your recovery process. This can also be being introspective about how far you've come. I feel like some of you are going to be going through a time in this week and probably beyond where it's like, I can't believe I got through that. How did I get through that? How did that come about? You might be asking a lot of whys. And that's okay so long as the whys don't overtake your life and start blocking you from creating anything new because you're stuck trying to figure out what the heck was that, right? Okay, life experience the number is 16, reduces to 7. It's Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is known as the Archangel of Love, but she helps us reach our fullest potential. So this with the other cards thus far, this could be an explosive moment. Um, it depends on who you are and how you're approaching things. So if you are coming at things just with blinders on, um, not taking accountability, not admitting what's there, you might have a breakup that you say was out of the blue. But really, it was coming a long time. You just didn't want to see it. Or maybe you lose a job or something. But whatever goes out of your life right now, it needed to crumble down so that you could implement something new. Okay? It says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. That goes along with the moon card quite a bit. Again, that introspection and then this like sort of life-altering kind of moment where it's like, I know what I need to do now. I know, or if you already did experience something, you're getting part of the why behind that. We have six of air here. We have the six of fire and now the six of air. 
things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip so this feels very much like leaving one thing behind in favor of another uh this for some of you this might be a location where you're like i am fed up with this i did that with colorado springs when they kept upping first they upped my rent quite unexpectedly by a hundred dollars a month which i thought was absolutely insane and then it went up uh, an extra 300 and some dollars the next year and the treatment of the residents is never good okay they the management no offense to young people, but <laughs> they, they tend to be a lot of young people who were given power and they're not qualified for the power. You see what I'm saying? So it was a whole lot of that. And I was like, I'm done. A lot of introspection. Is this making me happy? It is not. <laughs> Let's move on. So you might be doing something like that. Like part of realizing what will make you feel free is by moving into a different situation. All right, let's get the color card here. All right. All right, we have lilac. Strengthen your faith. The number is 42. Reduces to six. And if you notice, I took that big team breath because I don't think this is going to be easy. Okay? So this might be like how, and you, I don't want to point out how many sixes you have here, but it's an angelic numbering. Okay, you don't need to be afraid. And angelic numbering, this is indicating the material world. Okay, so, and it can also, yeah, they're saying even now, it can indicate material world thinking too. Now that's not just like monetary stuff. It's the, I need to be with that person because we just match. And I don't mean match like, hey, we feel a soul connection or we feel connected in some way it's like <laughs> most people were like I'm super good looking you're super good looking we should be together right you see what I'm saying like that's what I'm saying <laughs> like that's that six kind of realm it's not very spiritual it's not very ascended it's not very it doesn't have to be bad it, it is what it is it's at its frequency that it belongs so again to each his own but strengthening your faith tells me that your faith might be shaken and you might be going, this is too hard to get through. You, you've got all the power here. <laughs> all the power. And especially the power of insight for yourself. Okay? Again, angelsouls444.com if you want to work with me. And we will leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hello, group three. Let's see what else is going on for you take a deep breath in with me here okay something feels like it's unending okay but feel Try to feel better about it because there is a completion coming. But first we start off with seven of water, a complex decision. The need to do research. Stop procrastinating. Again, there's this thing of what do I believe? I'm, you know, there's so much information coming in. What's real? What's not real? The, for some of you too, this is, oh my gosh, I have so many options. I remember I had this person <laughs> come to me and, uh, you know, doing a and all this person kept telling me was how many love partners they have. And I'm looking at this person and it just seemed like a lie. It just seemed like, who are you talking to? You think I'm not going to know when you're lying to me? Like, <laughs> so like, it just didn't seem right. But this person wanted, wanted to get comfort in thinking they had all these options. And that gets you pulled into a direction. First of all, maybe not grounded with reality um not giving maybe a true love a chance right because you want to keep your options open because somehow that's validating for you um yeah they're saying scattered energies it just kind of like throws all your energy out so that you don't really have to it's distraction so you don't have to look at yourself four of earth being too frivolous or too cautious with money 
uh, good business decisions, giving to those, giving to those less fortunate. So that could be the case for this, of course. But I think of someone who I always think of somebody who's super stubborn. Like if you try to move a tree, it's not going to move, right? It might sway in the breeze or whatever. But if you try to go over and pick up a big tree, it's it's, it's got roots. It's not going anywhere, right? That's what this feels like. So you can't simultaneously complain that you don't have all that you want and not make decisions to get what you want and then be stuck in your ways, right? Again, then blaming everyone else or circumstances or something like that. Something's got to give. Something has to give. Six of water, memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. I already know what this is. This, this is why this is happening, okay? It's from your past experiences. Maybe you weren't taught that you were worth something or that, like I know in the generation I grew up in, in my little small town, the people who got the most attention were the ones that kept the most boyfriends or girlfriends or the ones that just made everybody if you were cool enough, made them their friends, like the mean girls kind of thing, right? You know, they had, they had their little group around them. So there's some bit of conditioning that you had before that is influencing how you're acting now, but it could be like, I don't know, the example that's popping up in my head, never got the chance to be popular. And maybe now, instead of having genuine friendships, you just have a bunch of acquaintances and you're calling them friends. So keep that in mind. Yeah, King of Water. There's an emotional development going on here, okay? Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. This is your evolution right now. So there could be a moment where you discover this and you go, I want to release that. I want to get my power back. <laughs> That's what it feels like. So there might be some decision to disconnect from a group of people could be with work too because four of earth you know maybe you've been saving your money because at any moment they could take away the retirement plan or at any moment they could do something 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 that ruins our future you know all that kind of stuff all right let's get you your color card burgundy awaken your passion the number is 10 now we're gonna leave this at 10 because i mean it can reduce to one 10 10 10 10 10 portal endings changes the universe coming in saying, hey, I'm trying to tell you nicely that this don't work, <laughs> but you're not listening. And so we're just going to take this out and uh, it's going to leave room for something else. But you can only access that by coming through this journey and getting into the king of water frequency. And then and you feel empowered to move on to things that actually make you feel good. So this I keep thinking of like relationships. If you're somebody who likes to date around because you need that validation or you want that validation and then you realize this doesn't make me happy now that won't be everybody not everybody is monogamous but um for those of you who are trying to pretend like you're not you realize where your happiness lies and that's a that's a pretty big discovery okay so we will leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care